Professional photographers use contact sheets to show their clients several images from a photo shoot at one time. Contact sheets can also be used to create a CD or portfolio cover as a way of indexing images. Users can create a PDF version of a contact sheet directly from Bridge CS4, which is Photoshop's file browser. To start Bridge CS4 from the Start menu, click on the Start button. Point to All Programs. Then find Adobe Design Premium CS4 and select Adobe Bridge CS4. To start Bridge CS4 from within Photoshop CS4, click on the Launch Bridge button on the application bar. Once Bridge has been opened up, we're ready to create a contact sheet. First, find and locate the Folders panel. Then navigate to the Data Files folder and select the 100 Canon folder. If you'd like, you can also select a folder with images from your own data file. After selecting the 100 Canon folder, click on the Edit menu. Then select Select All. Click on the Window menu. Scroll down to Workspace then select Output. Or if you choose, you can select the Output Workspace button on the application bar. Locate the Output panel. On there, you'll see two buttons, one called PDF and the other one called Web Gallery. Click on the PDF button. Right below that, click on the template list. We're going to select the 4x5 contact sheet, but go ahead and select whichever template you choose. To see a preview of what your contact sheet will look like, click on the Refresh Preview button. The Document section of the Output panel allows you to set the paper size, quality, and background color of the contact sheet. Let's try it out by clicking on the Document arrow. Next to where it says Background, click on the white color swatch. In the Color dialog box, let's select Black. Or, if you choose, you can select any other color. After you've decided on the color, click on the OK button. To update your preview, click on the Refresh Preview button again. As you can see, the contact sheet has a black background now. Let's collapse the Document section by clicking on the Document arrow, and collapse the Layout section as well by clicking on the Layout arrow. Let's expand the Overlay section by clicking on the Overlay arrow and change the characteristics of the file name. The first thing that we want to do is change the color of the file name from black to white. In order to do that, click on the black color swatch located next to where it says Color. In the Color dialog box, click on White. Then select the OK button. Let's refresh preview. And now you can see the changes. In order to save this PDF file, under where it says Watermark, click on the Save button. Let's save this PDF file on the desktop and name it Contact Sheet. After you're finished, go ahead and click on the Save button. We're all finished. Go ahead and click on the OK button.